to NURFM.com, a broadcast service of the University of Newcastle. If you are driving at the moment using a GPS to get around and you've found it very frustrating or in fact you might find it highly useful, but it is one of the motivating factors that influenced our next guest. Professor Shin Chan Han is a professor in geodesy at the University of Newcastle's School of Engineering. Shin Chan, welcome to Mornings. And it was in fact the GPS technology that first sparked your interest in geodesy. What is geodesy? Um, first of all, uh, thank you very much for uh, giving me such a wonderful opportunity to talk about geodesy and my role in your show. Oh, we're very honoured to uh, have you, uh, believe me. Yeah, geodesy is one of the oldest uh, this science discipline. Actually, it was started uh, back in uh, 200 or 300 years A.D. Wow. It was started, I mean, the first measurement, uh, first geodetic measurement was taken by Eratosthenes, the Greek scholar. Um, so geodesy uh, deals with the shape of the Earth and gravitational field, which is related, interrelated with the shape of the Earth. And uh, the orientation of the Earth with respect to the celestial body. So we care about the rotation of the Earth, length of the day, and then a changing uh, of the shape of our Earth. And your talk that you're giving, you're talking about just that, aren't you? Measuring our restless planet because we're trying to take a measurement of something that is constantly changing, which must be difficult. That's right. Uh, so I will be talking about, uh, so, so I will show some monument, monumental measurement took by uh, some brilliant scholars uh, in, in, in our history. Uh, they are focusing on, uh, they were thinking, the f- first topic of geodesy the, is the uh, driving the quasi-static, the permanent shape of the Earth. Mm-hmm. And they thought the permanent shape of the Earth uh, is, is, I mean, some constant shape of the Earth. But now the technology has been developed so well, so we are talking about the temporal change of our sh- Earth's shape. The temporal change uh, is caused by many things, like a volcano, earthquake, some tectonic motion due to the uh, glacial rebound uh, of the, also the uh, polar ice melting and the sea level rise. So the present day's geodetic measurement has an implication on those geophysical processes. So that there is so much going on with our planet than we really ever suspected. And it is the GPS technology that is really making a huge difference in how we observe and measure. Is that true? Right. Uh, in addition to GPS, there are plenty of other geodetic techniques. So uh, GPS is just one of them. Sure. And, and uh, tonight I will try to summarize uh, a few important geodetic measurements, including GPS. Uh, the, uh, basically, uh, I will be uh, talking about some important highlight science outcomes from the satellite mission called GRACE. Uh, I cannot describe my career without mentioning uh, that mission. Uh, this is about a gravity recovery and climate experiment. Space measurement is the just like a GPS. Uh, we are measuring the distance between two objects uh, orbiting around the, around our Earth. That measurement precision is uh, 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 far more precise than GPS measurement. GPS, we are talking about millimeter level precision, mm-hmm. distance between the satellite and our receiver. Yes. But those uh, satellites, uh, they are measuring the distance change at the precision of one micron. Wow, that's very, very small. And just you mentioned, Grace, what was your role at NASA, Professor Shin Chan? We're chatting this morning with Professor Shin Chan Han, who is relatively new to Newcastle, and he's come here from NASA to to work in Newcastle. What was your role with NASA? Uh, I had been working at NASA uh, Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, uh, from 2006 until I joined University of Newcastle early this year. 
I was uh, one of the science team member of the satellite mission GRACE. And I was leading uh, uh, a few projects related to solid earth deformation and hydrology and ocean tide. Uh, uh, since it, actually the beginning of the mission, like uh, 2002 or 2003, uh, we, we had a, uh, at, at, at the beginning of Grace mission, um, not many colleagues are aware of uh, such a mission, actually. Sure. But nowadays, the, uh, 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 many, many scientists have found the usefulness of uh, the, such a geodetic measurement uh, from GRACE. Uh, and I was uh, studying uh, uh, some permanent change and gradual change after large earthquake using uh, 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 GRACE measurement. Uh, in 2004, we had a very gigantic earthquake in Indian Ocean. Yes. We had a tsunami. The tsunami, yes. Uh, December 2004. Uh, after that earthquake, the looking for the gravity signature in the in the grace measurement was kind of a holy grail. Uh, we want to understand how Earth basically deformed after such a, a gigantic event. And, and did, was the Earth changed uh, geophysically by that massive earthquake? Yeah, it, uh, it made a permanent scar wow. in, in our gravity field and it's still changing. The Earth is still responding to such gigantic event until now. Wow, that, that is an incredible thought. I, I welcome you to Newcastle, to the university. I look forward to your work. I know it's going to change the way we think about our planet and respond to the changes that it is making. Right. Uh, thank you so much. All the best with your talk tonight. And perhaps we could have you back again to talk about some more of the things that you're learning about. Th thank you so much, Shin Chan. Okay. Professor Shin Chan Han. And uh, unfortunately, his talk tonight is completely sold out. There are no seats left, but we're going to have a podcast of that talk, which we will put on the 2NUR website.